The bodies of the mother and her children lay on the road for hours before they were picked from the horrific scene. Witnesses narrated how the motorbike they were on was hit by a trailer from the rear before running over them. Ule mama na watoto wake kanguka kwa barabara ndio ile trailer ikagusa tena. Elsewhere, police in Kakamega have conducted a crackdown on shisha smoking in the area. Three shisha gadgets were nabbed in the operation, with police officers warning those found smoking the burnt substance that they will face the full force of the law. Na tuliweza kuna sa tatu katika mba furani hapa Kakamega Central Town. Na ni kitu ambaye hayeleweki na ni baya kwa sababu inakaa kama inakuwa associated na bank. Meanwhile, over 30 health staff from the county government of Busia have undergone a three-day induction course on cervical cancer screening at the Busia County Referral Hospital. Busia County Director of Medical Health, Dr. Jen Ambuche, said the training of staff from the health institutions across the county was meant to have them gain more skills on cervical cancer. Tunafanya hii screening mara moja kwa mwaka na kujileta hospitali mara moja kwa mwaka si kitu kigumu ukija kuchukua family planning yako chukua hiyo fursa pia kuangaliwa mlango wako wa kizazi ili upatikane iko sawa ama iko na tabu While the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya has called on the president and the cabinet to support the implementation of the international public sector accounting standards for all public sector entities including the counties The institute's national chair Rose Mwaura said the implementation will ensure that every year any unpaid liabilities owed to suppliers are captured. Finally, the slain Garissa teacher has been laid to rest in Chuso as teachers vow not to go back to the region. Samuel Mudhui, age 29, was killed by Al-Shabaab militants who targeted upcountry teachers. Local leaders asked the government to step in and compensate families that have lost loved ones through such tragedies. Sisi kama walimu tunaweza ambia serikali iangazie vizuri mambo ya usalama wa walimu. Wakubwa wetu wanatuambia turudi pale shule. Usalama uko wapi? Hiyo ndio swali. Sawa, tumekumbali kufanya kazi mahali popote Kenya. Hatukatai. Lakini nani analinda mwalimu? Nancy Okwari, Channel One News.